Hi guys, today I'm going to make a dog bed using all free items that I found on the curb. So all of my materials for this project came from the curb and were things that my neighbors threw out. You would not believe some of the stuff that you can find. The first piece in this puzzle was my banana sheets that a neighbor had thrown out with a futon. And then a few days later, a different neighbor had thrown out a few couches. So I grabbed some of those cushions and I was ready to go. I stuffed everything in the wash on a nice three hour sanitized cycle and then I got to work. This is about half of the flat sheet and I folded it in half. I'm making my bed round. So then I'm envisioning where I'm gonna draw the edges of my circle. I take a piece of chalk and I outline just a basic circle shape. And then I cut along only one of those quadrants of the circle. Next, because I've squared off my material, I just have to fold this in half twice and then cut along that edge once again in the shape of that quarter circle. Then when I open it up, I have two circles, my top and my bottom. Then I have to flip this so the right sides are facing in, wrong sides are facing out. I could have cut this this way, but I didn't, so I have to flip it inside out now. Then I pin together these two pieces and I leave about a half inch seam allowance. Once that's all in place, I head over to my sewing machine and I'm just gonna sew along my pin line along the edge of my pieces with a straight stitch, just leaving about five inches open in the front so that I'm gonna be able to stuff my bed. While it's still inside out, I trim off any fabric sticking out beyond my seam because I'm gonna flip this right side out and sew one more stitch just about an inch in from my first stitch. So I don't want any extra to be sticking in here. Then I go ahead and flip it right side out again. Back at my drafting table, I press the piece nice and flat with my fingers and then I'm marking an inner circle about eight inches in from my outside seam. And next time I go to my sewing machine, I'm gonna be sewing two things. I'm gonna be sewing along this inner circle that's eight inches in, and then I'm gonna be sewing that second seam on the outside that's just one inch in from my edge. I'm sewing my innermost circle first, the one eight inches in, just sewing that all the way around, but leaving a five inch gap in the middle, just like I did with my first seam. Now I'm moving to my outer seam that's on the right side. And what I'm doing by sewing this one inch in from the edge is I'm making a little tube where I'm then going to insert a string and string it all the way around the outer edge of my bed. So same exact thing, I'm sewing all the way around, leaving that five inches open in the front. Next we grab our yarn or string and a safety pin and we're just gonna string that all the way around the little tube that goes around the exterior of the bed. Now 
Now it's time to stuff our interior circle, which is where the dog is going to be laying on the bed. So I got my curb cushions and I didn't account for the fact that they were foam. And if I had known this, I would have sewn this a little bit differently. So I'm taking my large piece of foam and just eyeing where it's gonna fit and drawing along those lines, cutting it down to size. And then I realized that the cushion was way too thick, so I cut it in half. I'm going to round off the edges of the main piece of my cushion and then cut some smaller pieces to stick in on the sides so that it makes one nice flat surface. I began with these smaller pieces and I stuffed them into that inner circle into place. This was the point at which I realized that I didn't have a way of getting my large piece of foam into my bed because I only left five inches open. So I cut it in half and rolled it up and shoved the two pieces in. And I jostled them around to get everything into place. And my second piece I had was too big, so I just cut that down a little bit. Got everything situated and put a little layer of upcycled polyfill on top of that to smooth everything out. Next I take my bed over to my sewing machine and I sew up the five inch opening of that inner circle. Now I'm going to stuff my outer circle and I'm using upcycled polyfill for this that I got from another pillow someone had thrown out. And I'm stuffing in between that polyfill some scraps from my sewing just to use those up and give them somewhere to live. Once that entire outer ring is stuffed, I'm gonna take my drawstrings, pull them taut so that I'm drawing the edges of the bed in. It makes this little donut, nice and cozy. I tie my drawstrings really tight and then I pin my fabric around on that five inch opening that I have left and sew it. And it's all done.